वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ क्रिकेट थ्रिल्स फैसल इकबाल बॉर्न इन कराची ऑन दिसंबर 30, 1981. ही इज अ राइट हैंडेड बैट्समैन फॉर पाकिस्तान एंड ही इज वन ऑफ द हैवी वेट इन पाकिस्तान डोमेस्टिक स्ट्रक्चर विद ओवर 10,000 थाउजेंड रन टू हिस्स क्रेडिट ही हैज प्लेड ओवर हंड्रेड एंड एटी फर्स्ट क्लास गेम विद मोर देन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरीज एंड फिफ्टी फिफ्टीज फैसल इकबाल मेड हिज टेस्ट डेब्यू एंगेज न्यूजीलैंड एट ऑकलैंड इन मार्च टू थाउजेंड वन एंड ही मेड अ वेरी गुड इम्प्रेशन स्ट्रेट वे with a 42 runs in the first innings and then unbeaten 52 in the second innings Pakistan went on to win the match by a 299 runs His second test match at Christchurch was even better coming in at the fall of two early wickets in response to a huge first inning New Zealand total Faisal Iqbal contributed 63 runs on his way to adding over 100 runs for the third wicket to steady the partnership Batting at number 3 Faisal Iqbal scored 63 runs of 182 balls with the help of 10 fours in 255 minutes against New Zealand in the second test match at Christchurch in March 2001 let's watch his innings Martin Was an expensive and that'll beat Bell to the cover boundary He placed this pitch That's a good shot down the ground for four hit it lovely shot he takes him on there and hits it too straight for Sinclair to do anything about it genuine half volley it's gone 59 for two down the ground this time and he has hit that very very well slightly in the air but never in doubt four runs results it's 100 pitch Faisal he's got it through he's found the gap that'll go to the boundary nearly uh, yorked himself here but got enough power into the stroke the session that has belonged to Pakistan they started the day at 2 for 65 they've had 66 runs without really any danger at all Faisal Iqbal and Inzamam Al-Haq done a good job Brilliant stroke after the lunch. What did he have? Evans above. It's the back foot. And laced it through the covers. Now that was in the air, just suspected for a while. It's beaten the man at cover. And gone through to the boundary. But not in total control. And 50 runs for Faisal. his second consecutive 50 with a drive in the air for some time to the left of cover but it runs very quickly away towards the construction side of the ground here at Jade no protection down a deep third man Nice to look bell I think knew it all along 10 from that over 148 for 2 Wonderful use of the wrists No one down there at third man So boundary to end the over 154 for 2 And the end gone It's work the plan is work it's taken a while Stephen Fleming, a good sharp catch. It's short cover. The patience ran out. The plan, yes, it took a while to come to effect, but it has. Well, there have been a few times during his innings that Faisal has just not quite got to the pitch of the ball and lifted it, although hitting it sweetly. And there it is once again, Faisal Iqbal. Just not getting right to that ball, lifting it to Stephen Fleming at short cover. He's out for 63. Pakistan 157 for three. 
he was in and out of the side for a while with poor form but january 29 2006 was a different story fasil iqbal brought up his median test 100 in the second innings against india at karachi and helped his side in the three match series win 1-0 as pakistan thrashed india even after being 6 for 39 at one stage in the first innings it also happens to be the only time that fasil iqbal crossed the three figures mark the conversion rate was always a problem with him and he was was out of the side a few years later scoring just 850s in 44 innings he was then recalled to the side when pakistan toured south africa in 2013 but he did not get to play a game and he has not featured in any of pakistan games since then he has represented many domestic side and was also signed by bangladesh premier league side silhethic royals the 50 over format was not that great for fasil iqbal though he started odi playing before his first test debut in 2000 He has managed only 100, 100 not out in his Zimbabwe in his 18 ODIs that he has featured. Faisal Iqbal is the nephew of Javed Miyadar and the elder brother of Fahad Iqbal, who is also a first-class cricketer. Faisal Iqbal made his ODI debut against Sri Lanka, a game in which the whole Pakistani batting lineup capitulated. He showed that he preferred to take his time to get settled in the middle of the pitch. Because of that, the selector chose to give him his first Test match start. after soon that Faisal Iqbal was a prolific junior level scorer he played two tests in South Africa in 2002 2003 but was dropped after that not performing well upon returning to test cricket after two years hideous times he scored his median test century against India to help Pakistan win the 2005 6 test series in the final test in Karachi he proved his doubters wrong by playing some solid innings especially an impressive innings against Australia which turned out to be in vain as it did not prevent a loss he continued on for a few more tours but was ultimately dropped due to a lean period where he did not contribute significantly with the bat he continued to play domestic cricket though and was recalled to the side after injuries hit some of the other players he played his last odi against the west indies in 2006 his test career however is a different story since he made his debut he played every year until 2010 with 2006 being the most fruitful in terms of runs He made over 300 runs in 12 innings but the team failed to win more than 2 matches in the 4 innings. Since his retirement and after doing coaching courses for England, he has become a coach for example, serving a batting coach and consultant to with the Karachi Kings in previous seasons of the PSL. In 2020, he was the head coach of the Balochistan team. In 22, he was appointed head coach to the Northern Warriors squad for the 6th season of Abu Dhabi T10. He is now a coach and also appears as an expert cricket analysis on different TV channels. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.